Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to answer the question of the one individual. There's, that person is saying, some negative thoughts arise when I was doing my Dharma practice. Would that cause a bad karma? Uh, what would I do when I, some things like this happen again? If there's any effective method that I can apply to solve this problem. First of all, all the different projection of thoughts will arise, whether it's extreme perfect, whether it's extremely negative, it doesn't matter. All the protection, all the projection of thoughts, uh, it is natural to arise, it is natural to dissolve on its own. Mm. And the method to the to dissolve all this kind of a negativity and the distraction of positivity, you have to treat equally. You cannot just treat something very special, saying that, oh yeah, I have some all this kind of a perfect and all these positive thoughts and it must be good and then going into some kind of a speculation and then going into some kind of a top trip and then that is a very unnecessary and not helpful so the method to overcome is that whenever the projection of thoughts arise whether it's a perfect or whether it's imperfect whatever it rises in your mind you know and i think i have to explain to you this one a little bit more carefully because uh, some people, when they when they are told that all the projection of thoughts have to recognize as a distraction and have to overcome, they try to apply that into our normal life. You know, when you are going with the family, when you're going to the supermarket, you know, they try to apply a little bit like uh, carrying an extra baggage, you know, in your shoulder. You don't do that. That's not the way. It, it that's not how it, it it can really help. The way it can help is during your practice making sure that you recognize your distraction, you recognize the projection of thoughts, and then without giving any importance, and then you simply continue with your visualization, and then that projection of thoughts will dissolve by itself.